Hey guys, how's it going? This is Danish here from GM Tech and today we're checking out the all new 2021 Cadillac Escalade. All right, I mean this thing, it's beautiful. It's a massive beast. It's got a 6.2 liter V8. It's got a 10 speed automatic uh, transmission. But that's not what we're here to check out, right? You come to GN Tech because you want to know what's on the inside, what kind of technology is there while you're driving the car. So that's exactly what we're going to check out. And I promise you, there is a lot to cover. So this is the interior of the all new 2021 Cadillac Escalade. Look at this. Just look at this. We went on a bit of a drive earlier, and I promise you when I say this, I lost my mind. We have been told constantly over the years that screens are a distraction and that we should stay away from them. But what Cadillac here has done is not only popped one, not two, but four screens here. So you've got the main center console, which is what you can see over here. Then you've got the central dash, which is for your interaction with your audio and stuff. You guys remember when we had old cars, there was a little button where you reset your gauge back to 000 or something like that for your trips? Yeah, that's a display now. It's unreal. Then you've got one more where you can switch between the mirror and uh, the rear, uh, rear view camera. But, all right, so let's just jump into one thing at a time. So first and foremost, like I said in the corner over here, is the display that controls your trip. Your heads up display right over there, little heads up display. Not sure if you guys can see it, but that's fine. So you've got those controls over here. So you can control the, your ride, your trip, etc. over here. Over here is your central display where the system looks great. Now, usually cars are like, oh, we have a capacitive display and that's awesome because guess what? You know, your touch is smooth and stuff like that. Cadillac said, okay, let's go a step ahead. They went five steps ahead. These are 4K OLED displays. Blacks look great. There is amazing contrast. There is fantastic color. So that's something very, very important to give Cadillac credit for because we were driving today on a really, really hot and sunny day and we had no issues whatsoever. I had no issues looking at this display. Anyway, coming back to the center one. So this one's primarily where you're gonna control audio, navigation, stuff like that. So see navigation. If we jump in here, you've got, uh, let's just show you a little part. There we go. So we've got nice 3D navigation. Look at that. Beautiful. Look at how nice it looks. You can zoom in, get right on the road, figure out where you're going. And yeah, then you've obviously got your audio controls. You've got Apple CarPlay, which also works wireless, by the way. That's not something that all cars offer. Then you've also got... Uh, Android, um, sorry, what is it called? Android Auto, that's also really good. Um, for someone like me who like likes to have their car set up, like here you go, Apple CarPlay, just set itself up, all your apps, all that just works easily. Now, another thing you need to know about the center console is that it also has um, a Wi-Fi hotspot. And when you buy the new 2021 Escalade, you also get uh, 3 GB of data for 90 days, absolutely free, right? So that's exactly how it sounds. This car connected to the internet for your usage. Apart from that, you also get Cadillac's OnStar support. Now, if you don't know what OnStar is, OnStar is basically a concierge slash emergency slash connectivity service that you are offered for 12 months. Now, it's one of the basic packages, but you do get it. So God forbid you have an accident, you click on OnStar, it'll contact emergency services and let you know. Let's assume you want to get directions to somewhere. Click OnStar, ask concierge, hey buddy, this is where I want to go. They'll pop the directions right into your map. Let's say you want, um, I don't know, you want to know how the car is doing, check it, do a diagnostics check. They can do that for you. So that is another thing that's really nice. Now, last but not least, in terms of, um, in terms of connectivity, this display, while might be the main one, let's say the central console, and also if you guys haven't noticed yet, everything is nicely curved towards the driver. So this car wasn't, I mean, of course, it's nice to sit back in, but... This was made to enjoy even as a drive. Now, coming to this main display, I'm not even joking. When I first saw this in a little video, I was like, nah, this doesn't make sense. Why would I need 
a camera here showing me exactly what's going on there. First of all, OLED display. I mean, if you guys can see what I'm looking at right now, that looks better than real life, which is just, why? Why not? It's amazing. That being said, so the idea here is that you usually have a speedometer, right? So let's just, there we go. Right, so this is your regular gauge, which you can have if you want, right? So it's showing me my music, it's showing me the speedometer, it's showing me the time, it's showing me my RPM, it's showing me my fuel level. But if you go into what they call AR camera, that's where this camera pops up. The idea basically, at least according to me and my driving experience, was that you, if I today had to look at GPS, all right, let's assume I'm driving. So I'm driving over here and the GPS is here. I'm technically looking away from the road and I'm missing, I, God forbid, but I could miss out what's out there. The idea here is that with the AR camera, and AR obviously stands for augmented reality, the idea is that you would basically still be looking at the road, but see that, okay, take a right turn or a left turn or building up ahead, or you're too close to the car up in front of you, all shown to you through augmented reality. And that's what is really, really good. And coming back to the point I made in the start, it's so good. It's so good that something that we have been traditionally trained, tra uh, trained our distractions work out in our favor. So really well done on that Cadillac. Apart from that, you've got a phenomenal setup over here. You've got a massive wide range of controls over here. You've got, um, I'm going to forget this, but uh, I might be getting this wrong. No, I'm correct. It's 36 speakers. 36. I can literally see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's only like right here. And their basic package has 19 speakers. I mean, come on, Cadillac. When did 19 become basic? How does this work? Anyway, loads of ways of controlling everything. So if you want to control this display, you've got a little toggle bar over here. You've got controls over here. And of course, you've got touch interacti interactivity as well. You also get connectivity to the My Cadillac app, which will give you your little diagnostics. You can control your uh, switch on and switch off the car. You can control your doors, your windows, etc. Another app that you also get access to is the Smart Driver app. Now, the Smart Driver app is sort of Cadillac's gamification of your driving. So it notices how you're driving, how much you're accelerating, how much you're, sp how much you're speeding, so on and so forth. And then you also basically get a little score. It's a bit of a gimmicky little addition, and some people might like it. Maybe you have two Cadillacs at home and you want to know if you're driving better or worse than your partner or your friend has a Cadillac or something like that. It's a bit of gamification and, well, I guess it works for some people. On the overall, the Cadillac 2021 is driving me crazy. It's such useful features, such so intuitive. Like, we drove around for an hour and 15 minutes... I knew everything happening in the car. I was, I was so aware of everything happening. I got a call, attended it easily. I saw everything happening here. I got directions. Um, there's so much extra comfort. I mean, you've got a fridge that becomes a freezer and goes down to minus five. You've got displays at the back, which you can control and put the media on that you want. You can even stream media. On the overall, I really, really like what I'm seeing. I do hope that I get a chance to do a detailed review of the car, but until then, I'm Danish, and if you liked what you saw, don't forget to like and subscribe, and thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one.